Now drawing scale diagrams is a useful skill for GCSE physics, especially if you're maybe looking at problems involving vectors like maybe force or displacement. Now you just need three things, you need a pencil, so if you make a mistake you can rub out any mistakes, a protractor if you're looking at things at a certain angle, and finally a ruler. Now when it comes to these scale drawings you've got to think about the scale that you're going to use. It might be that you decide that one centimetre represents one newton, or perhaps one centimetre might be equal to 10 metres. It really depends upon the question that you're doing. And then it just comes down to taking, your, taking time and a little bit of care as you're drawing things. So maybe you're doing a, a certain arrow of a certain distance. If you know that this distance is eight squares, then that then represents maybe eight newtons. Again, you can use your protractor if you're looking at maybe adding vectors together. Uh, so you'd measure the angle, you draw it an appropriate distance, and maybe this allows you then to work out the resultant force on an object. But the example below has, uh, probably better explains it probably better than this video, because it actually shows a real worked example.